back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Indy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this vlog. Um, if y'all can't tell, I am exhausted. It is 5.40 in the morning on Thursday. Last vlog, y'all saw I was going to stay up all night to edit the last vlog. So I've been up. I went to bed at 3.55 a.m. So 4. And then woke up like an hour later and started getting ready. Because I'm going to Montgomery for a higher education day. I don't feel like going into it right now, like explaining. But we're basically going to um, talk to the high school kids. And um, I look a mess. I feel a mess. I... I'm hungry, like hungry beyond whatever. And um, yeah, I can't even talk right now, y'all. I'm that exhausted. So we, have, the bus is leaving at 6.30 in the morning. They said we needed to be there at 5.40, but um, I couldn't do it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna sleep the whole ride to Montgomery. Like my eyes are so strained. Like my eyes are like turning red from how long I was staring at that computer. So I just need a, a few hours to bounce back. Just let me bounce back. I'm gonna be back on here, refreshed, ready to go. So I'll see y'all when we get to Montgomery. Happy birthday, dear Isaiah. I gave y'all, I was gonna give y'all uh, to like 45 minutes, but I gave y'all like 15. I gave y'all 15 until, so that's better. Uh, yeah. Everybody needs to see you back there. Hey. Hey, right, I'm gonna start A. I'm gonna start A. We need full participation on the bus so we get outside. They gonna be like, oh, these uh, African American people. <laughs> They not playing. They said send the money to them. Cause y'all know we missing five hundred million. So we gotta get our five hundred million. They can't hear us. You know. Yeah. Everybody ready up here? Yeah. All right. Hey. Hey. Okay. That was a test run. That was a test run. That was a little shaky. A little shaky. Okay. Hey. Hey. Alabama. Hey. Hey. A A M U. You know. Diversity. A A M U. I put my A. I put my A. Okay, okay. Uh. In front of my M. In front of my U. In front of my U. <laughs> okay, Ben. That's what we do. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's a mini one. Hi, vlog. This is my third higher ed trip. Um, I'm just gonna whisper. We're like the only other black school besides Alabama State over there. It's 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 all these other white schools. So we're trying to get some money, and we hope that they give us money. Typically they don't, but it's us. We parade around, we chant, scream, shout. They give us stickers and pins and stuff. It's a it's a wonderful experience, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> I just love it. Y'all think I'd be wrong if I put on my booty? Yes. <laughs> what up, vlog? We out here at Higher Education Day, you know, empowering the youth, making sure we get our higher education, our college education. You know, we out here trying to get our degrees, elevate ourselves, especially as the young black people at Alabama and the University. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. So we made it to Higher Ed Day in Montgomery. Yeah, vlog. What's going on, vlog? We are outside and we are live. Okay, it's your girl Ray Reese and we're tapping in, alright? <laughs> I don't know why she's so loud. Look how steady this thing is. This is a great camera, you guys. What would you do you have to say? Are you excited or what? I am. I got me a little sticker, y'all. Where's your sticker? Where's your sticker? Yeah, this is my pocket. Y'all, we here 2024. First time at this event, you know, got representing Alabama and Alabama. Right. Right. We're the biggest, the baddest, and the best to ever do Hello? it. Let them know. Let them know. Come on. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, this is India. Let's go out for another day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. SAB. I don't know about a vibe. It's, is it giving? It's five. It's five. <laughs> Y'all, Jonathan done figured out who the mascot is. Now he messing with him. This is the new camera, y'all. It is. It's my little mini, my little portable. Show me your side. Show me your side. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say something to the wall? Yeah.
picture. Come take a picture. Come on. University of North Alabama! Alabama, am I right? The other team's liable to score. But we don't want to do that. We want to drop the ball. We want you to have dreams. We want you to be able to reach. We want you to be able to be innovative. We want you to have vision. We want you to have the energy that it takes to make Alabama the best so you can drive to the basket. Oh, this is the line for the food. But they gave us free merch. Jonathan, what merch did you get? Um, I got this. It's cute. It's a, it's like, uh-huh, repping the state. She's a southern belle. That's what it's giving. It's yeah. giving suburbiana. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. As we come to the end of Higher Ed Day, I would just like to say, hey, black. stay black <laughs> and keep God first and continue higher education. Black power. Black and just power. remember, and just remember, you matter. You matter. Anybody else got something to say? Can I cuss on you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you told me I can cuss. Keep it PG, keep it so PG. Keep it PG. <laughs> they wanted all that black power stuff. You're gonna get her D money. What the money at? Mm -hmm. Let's get to the money. Where the money at? White people, where the money at? Governor, K. Ivy, where the money at? Me Meemaw. Where the money at? Yeah. Hey y'all. So um, it's the next day. Today is Friday. Um, yesterday I went to Higher Ed Day. Um, basically advocating for colleges to get more money. I don't know what I was talking about. Talking about we talking to high schoolers. I was running on one hour of sleep and I was just rambling. But we was not talking to no high schoolers. I don't even know if I left that clip in. But um, yeah, it was really fun. On the way back, it was like an accident. So it took a lot longer to get back. And then I posted some videos, posted a YouTube video. For my last YouTube video, y'all, um, when I say look at the black history thing and then it cuts, Sorry, I had to cut that out because it was talking about copyright. I said, how do you copyright a poem? So I just cut it out. So, sorry. If you want to see it, it's on my Instagram at India Roads with two S's. Um, I gotta move quick, gotta move quick. What else? Um, oh, um, my channel officially got monetized today, like at three in the morning. So like, there's ads in all my videos now. Look at my reaction. Y'all. Yeah. It's literally 2 in the morning, but I clicked one of my videos, and it has an ad. Like, I'm officially making money monetized on my YouTube channel. Y'all, I'm finna start crying. And I can hit skip ad on my video. Ow! But, yeah, so... I was very excited about that. My mom was very excited. It's my mom's birthday today. And she was like, that was her one wish. I said, girl, you need to be more selfish with your wishes. Like, but anyways, um, today is Friday. I had one class today. And then we went to the baseball game real quick. And now we're going to a pageant for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. It's the Mr. Ivy pageant. Ugh. Yeah, so we're gonna see them compete. It's like five guys competing. Two of them y'all have probably seen in the vlog many of times before, but I ain't gonna spoil it for them. I'ma just let y'all see. But yeah, I'ma vlog there. And dang, I ain't even looked at my outfit, y'all. Is it cute? Is it? Oh, it's kinda, it's kinda giving. It's very, I thought of this outfit in my dream. 
Also, I wanted to ask y'all, do y'all be like doing stuff like in y'all dreams? My friends think I'm weird because I plan out my outfits in my dreams to save time on sleep so I can sleep in longer. Like I control my dreams and they say that people don't control their dreams. And I just feel like I'm not the only one that can be able to do that. Like I go to sleep, think about something, and throughout the night, I tell my brain what to dream about sometimes. If I'm like on a tight schedule, you know, like I gotta think of this content idea, I'll dream about it, and then I come up with the idea and then I make it. Or I come up with the outfit in my head, and then when I wake up in the morning, it was the dream I had last night. Is that weird? Anyways. Anyways, I swear it's other people that can do that. But yeah, this is the outfit. This dream obviously wasn't too good because this outfit ain't, it's not, it's all right. It ain't, it's just a black crop top with some jeans with this white little corduroy and then my pandas. And then I like my, I've been doing this with my hair. It's giving like sleek back ponytail. I really think it's cute. I've been wearing it a lot, but yeah, this is the outfit. I really don't know how I'm feeling about it. But I'm gonna wear this purse with it. I don't think I like the shirt with it. Should I change? We ain't got time. So yeah, let's um head to this pattern. University. 
Yeah. My mind stays on that just high than average. A lot of gathering with a new new ride and pet by the Mavericks. Talk human, half man, half amazing. They match like amazing. Can't you use their real time? Please join me as I tell you a tale that's old as time, but this time is from my side. Mm -hmm. Echoes of Oppression by Leslie Williams Jones. In the shadow of midnight's somber hue, echo the tale of a world askew, where justice scales falter and break, and brutality grip makes hearts quake. Sirens wail, a symphony of fear, as red and blue lights dance drawing near. Innocence shivers beneath the night's cloak, as the whispers of tyranny 
honestly provoke. Two souls, brothers in stride, caught in the crossfire with nowhere to hide, hands raised high on a desperate plea for mercy to come set them free. <laughs> for mercy did not come. Yet guns caught back and tensions rise. As the white man grip tightens, there's no compromise. My brother's life was silenced by the night. His dreams shattered in the blink of sight. Blood stays the pavement. A stark reminder of our justice deferred, of our hearts going blinder. I mourn the loss, silenced by the night. My soul torn apart as we fight with hope in our hearts. For in the depth of despair, amidst the pain, we rise united, our voices sustain, to demand change, to rewrite the script, where justice reigns and humanity takes grip. In a label, in a world that labels us thugs, my color stained. As young black men faces racism cools chain, yet our resilience fuels the fight to dismantle the systems of oppression's life. Mm -hmm. So let this tale echo in the halls of time. Don't let my brother's death be in vain, for his voice still remains. I said, I don't think you're listening. Don't let my brother's death be in vain, for his voice still remains in the legacy I'm still dying to claim. Mm -hmm. A rallying cry like his brutality's crime. Again, a rallying cry that gives the talent to mine. For every life lost, every tear shed, strength is my result as we forge ahead. Yeah. Just so y'all know, Leslie wrote that by hand. That wasn't nobody else's poem. Mm. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Today, I'll be reciting an original poem called Those Four Letters and Them Three Words. Can I follow in those four letters and say them three words? I know it's a crazy feeling, man. Uncontrollable emotions. Many probably never experienced. Those four letters and them three words will make you smile, laugh, and cry. Have you meet someone new and never want to say goodbye, but to me. Those four letters and them three words are 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Come on. I can tell you, all the in the world. Without those four letters, I am nothing. Without those three words, I'm like a bird without his wings. Just like a fish out of water, unable to breathe. So please, can I fall in those four letters and say them three words? Live life for its true purpose. Life without the four letters is simply worthless. Life without the three words is the sun without the sunshine. In the moon, without the night. Truly, to gain this experience, I need to fall on my knees. Yes, I know those four letters and the three words are dangerous things. Those four letters and the three words will make you want to sing. Those four letters and the three words will make you about a ring, but those four letters and the three words are something that I need. So can I call in those four letters to say those three words, please? <laughs>
If you win the Mr. Ivy title to make a positive impact in your community? Thank you, that is a very great question. If I ever so happy to be attaining the blessings of the Mr. Ivy title, I will be using my platform to advocate for young blacks' mental health. It's important to educate the young black mind on how strong it really is. And by doing so, I'll be having black mental health forums, mental health talks, even cookouts in, to understand the young black mind. And I'll be doing that on this campus and everlastingly try to expand beyond that. Contestant number two. What qualities do you believe makes a man a good role model in today's society? Thank you for that question. I truly believe qualities that makes a man a good role model is being God-fearing, being a leader, leading by example, and staying true to your word. Thank you. Contestant number three. What do you think is the most pressing issue facing young men today, and how would you address it? Thank you so much for that question. Good evening to everyone that came out. I want to thank you all. To the judges, greetings. <laughs> to the gorgeous Gilly Chapel, the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, and Corporate. Um, the problem that is faced with young men today, even especially young black men, uh, is their first off, it starts off with home. Um, some of them are not taught the right way. Uh, some of them don't have positive male role models in their society to teach them and guide them to the right path that is good for them and that's also fit into God's plan. I, as your Mr. I, love to advocate for young men not only across uh, Alabama, but all over every HBC you know. See, the thing is, young men nowadays are too afraid to speak up. They're too afraid to be in tune and adjust with their feelings. But I, as your contestant number three, want to let all you men and ladies know that uh, it's okay, especially to the men, it's okay to get your feelings out to talk and to also express mental health, awareness, and physical health. Thank you so much. Contestant number four. What inspired you to enter the Mr. Ivy Scholarship Pageant, and what do you hope to achieve from this experience? What inspired me to enroll in the Mr. Ivy Pageant was my mother. Being a member of the gorgeous Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, she put in me, you know, things of like, you know, education and higher morals and stuff. Coming from a single parent household, you know, my mom was always, you know, the rock of my foundation. You know, Keep Life First was in my home, um, always in my family too as well. And what I plan to do is, you know, to include diversity because not only is this HBCU, but this is it's a safe haven for all minorities, Latinos, Asians, all minorities. So I hope to include them into all that TVs, you know, host forums where we can come together and, you know, just build off of that and, you know, make dating better than it is. Thank you. Contestant number five, what qualities do you think makes a man a good role model for young men, and how do you specifically embody those qualities? Good evening. Thank you for the question, Madam Moderator. I would say the qualities that make a good role model, rather, is integrity, character. That is the basis of a man. His character is all he has for him. His name is his reputation and his bond. I believe that it is very important and sacred, rather, for you to be an example for yourself. You should be a leader first before you can lead others. And so to be a very, to be a great role model, rather, you have to have integrity and must keep God first. That's how I believe you should have to the qualities rather you should have to be a role model. In me, I try to greet everyone I see, keep that integrity, keep that character no matter what, uh, no matter the tribulations that come, no matter the allegations. It's always great to keep that integrity and I am a man of integrity. <laughs>
it's the next day. Um, it's Saturday. At the pageant, y'all saw the two people, Leslie and McKelton. They've been on the vlogs before. And McKelton won Mr. Ivy. He's the very first Mr. Ivy at Alabama A&M in history. And, um, yeah, before that, we went to higher ed day. That was really fun. We just kind of did a lot of parading, cheering. And it was overall to ask, like, the governor and the Alabama higher-ups for more money for our schools. And it was 12 or 14 of the public universities in Alabama. And then us in Alabama State were the only two HBCUs there. Alabama State had their marching band, all that. But yeah, it was real fun. Um, today, me, Naya, and Lyric are heading to Barnes & Noble to study because... I've been trying to study in my room, in my bed, and I keep falling asleep. So, we gotta get out the house. And, we're going to Freddy's. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but that was my place back in Arizona. And I didn't know they had one. I've lived here for three years, and I didn't know Alabama had a Freddy's. So now we're going to Freddy's. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.